<laughs> I'm here again. It's day 15. Look, surprise. Are you surprised? Are you surprised? Are you surprised? I'm going to talk about that later. Um, of course, it's day 15. I want to talk about fear. And, um, you know, the hardest part of doing these videos every day is this. That's the hardest part, that initial hitting the record button is so hard. Um, so anyways, you know, I have, obviously I have a lot to talk about, but um, we're gonna talk about Rosa Parks first because that is our Black History Month spotlight. Okie dokie, here we go. I screenshot, I look it up, but then I screenshot it because I don't wanna lose my place or mess up or anything like that. So, I mean, I mess up plenty, but I don't want to accidentally leave the screen and whatever. Anyway, so Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks stood up for African Americans by sitting down. Although Abraham Lincoln's 1863 Emancipation Proclamation granted slaves their freedom for many years, black people were discriminated against in much of the United States. In Southern states, for instance, most black children were forced to attend separate schools from white kids in classrooms that were often run down with outdated books. African Americans also couldn't eat at the same restaurants as white people. This is the trend of Black History Month. This is what you'll hear in most of the stories about the civil rights leaders is that Black people could not eat with white people, um, couldn't go to school with white people, couldn't uh, drink out of the same water fountain, couldn't use the same restrooms. Um, so that it was a really big thing because it was a law. Okay, so African Americans also couldn't eat at the same restaurants as white people and had to sit in the back seats of public buses. Segregation, the separation of races, was enforced by local laws. Rosa, oh, see, I done messed up. Okay. Mm. Rosa Parks was born on February 4th. That was, wow. That's the same birthday as my daughter. Hey. <laughs> 1913, on December 1st, 1955, she boarded a city bus in Montgomery, Alabama and sat in the middle where black passengers in that city were allowed to sit unless a white person wanted the seat. As the bus filled with new riders, the driver told Parks to give up her seat <laughs> to a white passenger. She refused. The driver called police and Parks was arrested. Her arrest sparked a major protest for more than a year. Most black people in Montgomery stood together and refused to take city buses. One of the leaders of the boycott was a young local pastor that we learned about yesterday named Martin Luther King Jr. Public vehicles stood idle. The city lost money. Still, the Montgomery bus boycott didn't end until 1956. Supreme Court decision ended racial segregation on public transportation throughout the United States. Okay. Parks died on October 24, 2005, but throughout her life, her refusal to give up her seat inspired many others to fight for African American rights and helped advance the civil rights movement of the 1950s and 60s. All right, that's Rosa Parks, y'all. That's Rosa Parks. Um, she was like, no. And we're talking about fear so i want you to be rosa parks okay and the bus is your goals your dreams you're there you're occupying your your you got ideas you got plans you're there you're on the bus you're right in the middle of it and here comes fear Unfortunately, today I am comparing fear to a white person, but whatever. Um, it's Black History Month, Black History Month, so I mean. Um, anyways, so fear comes, 
and says, I'm freestyling this. I have, I have notes. I shouldn't have put my phone down. I'm freestyling this, okay? So fear comes and says, you got to get up out my seat. This is my seat, okay? So this is where, this is, this is where your boldness comes in. This is where your confidence comes in. Fear says, you got to move. You don't belong here. You can't do this. You're not good enough. It's not going to work for you. It's not going to work out. You're going to get worn out. You're going to get tired. You're going to give up. Right? It's, it's worthless. You're doing this for nothing. Fear comes with all of that stuff. Right? And tells you, you have to move. You have to get up. You have to stop following your dreams. You have to give up on your goals and aspirations and all that stuff. And, it, and it's over. That's what fear tells you. And you can be like our civil rights leaders and politely, quietly protest. But what I am promoting today is that you kick fear in the face. You get up, you say, no, it ain't happening. You kick it in the face, okay? Kick fear in the face. Does that make sense to you? <laughs> Just roundhouse, okay? So, and I'm, I'm so serious about this because tomorrow's not promised. Uh, do you understand? A lot of people, they're like, oh, I don't plan on dying anytime soon. I'm gonna be here for a long time. You don't know. You don't know. You can walk out the house today and die. And your family, nobody ever sees you again. And what do you have? What do you have to show for it? Have you even started to follow your dreams? Have you even thought like, what do I want to leave Earth with? You know, what what do I want my footprint on the Earth to be? That's why my website is Marquita was here because one of my biggest fears is that I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Um, and, and everything, everything that I've ever wanted to do, I'm not going to be able to do because I'm, it's not, it's just not going to happen. Um, I could go deeper into that, but then I'll be here forever. But basically that has always been a fear of mine. Um, or not, I don't know if I can really call it a fear because the fear is what has me doing this. Um, it was just always been like a, I can't see it. I can't see me making 20. I made 20 and then I'm like, I can't see me making 30. I made 30 and now I'm 32. And I still have that in the back of my mind. Like, but what if I die today? That has all, especially after, since I had kids and I said I wasn't gonna talk about this, but I'm talking about it. Um, especially since I had kids, um, it has like increased. So here I am with Marquita was here. I want y'all to know I was here. I kicked fear in the face. I'm doing it. And however it ends, it's going to end with my mark on the earth being here. Me telling you, you can do it. That's what I'm here for. That's it. So tomorrow is not promised. So just do it. Just go out there. Just put the damn eyelashes on and do it. <laughs> okay? Just do it. Um, don't listen to the people that are at the bottom of the ladder. If you're on the ladder, don't look down. Don't look down, okay? Don't listen to the voices at the bottom. Rosa Parks was on the bus. She made her decision. I'm not moving. I'm not moving for anybody. And I'm pretty sure there was some black people that, that don't even take the bus. It was like, no, no, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. No. Kick fear in the face. Don't look down. Don't listen to those people who aren't even on the ladder. And you're so high up on the ladder that like, it, you know, you know how it is. You get up there, you look down. All you're going to think about is falling and failing. Don't look down. Don't listen to those people that are at the bottom of the ladder telling you, you, you think that's going to work? No, don't do it. Don't listen to those voices. Um, push through. Go from idea to idea. If the idea doesn't work out, go to the next idea. If you get an idea, write it down. Think it through 
think it through. I, I think I thought about this, doing this 100 day challenge for about a week before I really did it. I, I thought about it for a week. I procrastinated and, and let fear kick me off the bus for about a week. And then um, my husband came and um, we went and took me shopping. And uh, and I was like, you know what? I gotta do it now. I have to do it now. I have to do these videos now. Um, I have no excuse. I can't say, oh, what am I gonna wear? Blah, blah, blah. I've had these earrings and the Gemini natural stuff and the Coco Hughes eyelashes and the new beauty um, moisturizer and the Mary Kay for months. I'm talking like summer months. And I never knew what I was going to, I just kept, I just kept accumulating stuff and I never knew what I was going to do with it. And then one day, just like Rosa Parks, one day she woke up and she was like, I ain't moving. I woke up one day and I was like, you know what? I'm doing this. And then of course I thought about it for a week and then fear got to me for a week. And I'm pretty sure there were days when Rosa Parks was on, on that bus thinking today's the day, today's the day, today's the day. And today wasn't the day, but all that matters is the day comes. Okay, the day has to come now. You gotta do it, okay? You have to do it. Um, and then, um, yeah, so so some ideas you put to the side um, because you're working on a big idea, but you write those ideas down and you keep them, okay? Because you never know, they might end up, you might be going on with this idea and then you might get an opening and go, Oh, the idea I wrote down, I can use that right here. So just keep the ideas, okay? Um, and then definitely you want to consult with people who know, who know what you're doing. Don't come in here. Don't, then go. No, wait, just a minute. I said, don't bother me. Um, <laughs> I said, you guys good? Do you need anything? No, we don't need anything. Okay, I'm doing my video, don't bother me. My son said my eyelashes are scary, but I have literally like one minute to tell you guys about that stuff. Anyways, consult with people who have expertise in what you're trying to do, okay? And then um, make sure that you watch yesterday's video about analysis paralysis and the day before his video about depression, okay? Um, so in my hair today, I told you guys yesterday about the Gemini Naturals, the colors, but in my hair today, I have the seal it up oil making it look all sparkly and, and cute. And then I have the Coco Hughes Beauty eyelashes. Um, if you watch this on YouTube, you will have all the links to this stuff. Um, but if you're watching on Instagram, sorry, Instagram doesn't allow us to put links in the, in the descriptions. Um, these earrings are from Shein, S-H-E-I-N. Shein, pow. Um, nude Beauty, got me all moisturized. Um, mm, I got time, y'all. I got time. I'm tripping. I had more than more than a minute. I just said I had a minute. Um, so that I would hurry up. I do that to myself all the time. Do you ever do that? Do you be like, the party starts at 3, so I have to say I'm going to be there at 2 so I can get there? Okay. Unless I fall into depression and I decide I don't want to go. Um, <laughs> that's a whole other, another thing. Kiss strip lash adhesive with aloe. I got that from Walmart. But I mean, it's it's working. A um, now I have a minute. Okay, so of course the Lash Love Fanorama. I put that on last once I was done, and before I did it because I just like it. Um, but I did do mascara before. I did eye eyeliner, Mary Kay deep brown eyeliner. And I did Mary Kay Lash Love Lengthening. I love black. I did that. And for my lips, let me show you. Ooh, hey y'all. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. I love you. I thank you for, for following this. Um, this is chocolate nude, baby. Mm -hmm. um, but I gotta go because it's 15 minutes.